I am out at West Geauga for the girls uh, division two uh, sectional semifinal. I am here with Lucy Palillo. Uh, Lucy, first off, congrats on the win out here today. Uh, how did it feel coming out and performing? You know, I was a little bit worried for this game because the first time we played them, there was a lot of competition. But even though they were hitting me, my team backed me up a lot and we were getting hits left and right. Even on two outs, we were scoring runs. It was just, it keeps me calm in the game and I can just pitch instead of worrying about runs and stuff. You said they were able to get some hits, but you were able to uh, acquire uh, nine strikeouts today. Great performance. Um, and you come in as a sophomore and put up such a performance. What does it mean for you and your confidence as an athlete to come out here and have such a performance as an underclassman? You know, my goal just for every sport is just to do my role, and I've worked really hard for that spot. But I truly, my defense behind me is what, what, what lets me do that because I don't have to worry about plays. I just know they're going to be behind me to make those. And it just... I'm excited for the next two years. I know we're going to work well. Uh, what would you say your strength is as a, as a pitcher so far in your career? And as you look forward to the next two years of your career, what would be the areas that you'd like to improve on? My strength all the way growing up has been movement and just hitting spots and stuff. But I obviously have a lot of improvement there too. But speed especially, I'm just not quite where I'd like to be. But I'll keep working on that the next two years. Awesome. And as you roll into uh, the sectional final here, what's it going to take to continue this momentum you guys have rolling? You know, we're just going to have to keep hitting and staying level in games, like not getting down on ourselves. And I think we got it all the way through. Awesome. Great job today and good luck moving forward. Thank you.